Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff, and I proudly represent California's 29th Congressional District. My top priority is to get our economy moving again and create jobs for the American people. And I believe that small business is the key. We've just been through the worst recession in history, and many people are still struggling. Small businesses have powered our way out of every recession, and this time will be no different. For that reason, I'm committed to doing everything I can to help small businesses by lowering their tax burden and expanding their access to credit. As one example, I've been working to spur investment in small, job-creating businesses by temporarily exempting small business stock from all capital gains taxes. That's what the Hiring Incentives to Restore Employment Act will do. And I was proud to vote for it in March and pleased to see it signed into law. The Hire Act provided two new tax benefits to aid employers who hire and retain unemployed workers. First, the payroll tax exemption provides employers with an exemption from the employer's share of Social Security tax on wages paid to qualifying employees. Second, the bill provides a retention credit to encourage retention of new hires and can be claimed on the employer's income tax return. By forgiving the payroll taxes and providing a retention credit for companies that hire permanent workers who are unemployed, we can get some of our best small businesses off the sidelines and growing again, while adding jobs and reducing the number of people getting unemployment checks. I also strongly supported the Small Business Jobs Act, which the President signed into law, to create a small business lending fund to make it easier for small businesses to access the capital they need to grow, hire more workers, and pull us out of the recession. The program is available to smaller banks who have traditionally worked closely with local small firms to invest money back into their community and get the economy back on track. Through leveraging the money available with additional support from private sector investors, we can expand access to credit and turn this $30 billion fund into $300 billion flowing back into the economy. Under the Recovery Act, 75% of capital gains on key small business investments this year were excluded from taxes. The Small Business Jobs Act eliminates through 2010 all capital gains taxes on these investments if they're held for five years. In addition, I support the SBA's General Business Loan Guarantee Program, sometimes referred to as Goodwill Lending. The program provides loan guarantees to eligible small businesses that have been unsuccessful in obtaining private financing through normal lending channels. Since its inception, the Guaranteed Loan Program has backed loans totaling more than $80 billion. I'll continue to work to ensure that this vital program can expand to cover more loans and a greater percentage of each loan. This will free up credit by easing the concerns of banks and credit unions who are worried that the difficult economy will affect the businesses they loan to and cause them to default. The measure would also eliminate a number of fees normally charged for SBA loans, which would make the application process much easier and cheaper to navigate. These improvements will strengthen the SBA, a vital agency that has already supported nearly $23 billion in small business lending and helped to create or retain more than 560,000 jobs. Keeping small businesses growing and creating jobs remains my top priority. I will continue to work on this issue until small businesses start hiring again and every American who is looking for a job can find one. Thank you again.